back. And this, this is your ASUS Chromebook C423N. This Chromebook is rocking a 14 inch screen with a dual core Celeron processor with four gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of memory on board. And it's this particular model is coming with a bonus, a mouse and sleeve included. So we gotta get into this Asus Chromebook C423. Slice right into this. And this box is a dual purpose box. So if you gotta travel, you can put this Chromebook right back in its box and you have a hefty handle right here. So we pop this open and this is your standard ASUS type of boxing. They, they do it better. You have your accessory here. You have your ASUS charging brick. This is what they normally use with ASUS. And you have type C for charging. So this is a type C charging brick. And this is your mouse. So you have a mouse into this package. And here's the Chromebook itself. If you keep this box, you can use it again, and I would definitely recommend you do so. This is a very light Chromebook with this smooth aluminum finish. Man, this feels light. Asus logo, right there in prominent. Chrome logo, looking real good. And we have something else in this box. A nice sleeve for your Chromebook. This is awesome. And further in the box, you find your booklet so for Chromebooks, this is a nice unboxing. So Asus Chromebook 423, this is a very light Chromebook. If you was looking for a Chromebook that doesn't weigh down your bag, this might just be the one that you've been looking for. Now it says this weighs 2.6 pounds, but I don't feel it. This feels like, I would say about two pounds on the nose. And if we check around this Chromebook, look at this. You got the nice black all around. Aluminum continues on the inside with a glass feeling trackpad and you got your keyboard. We gotta feel this out, but this Chromebook is feeling really good. So you have your 3.0 port, headphone jack, micro SD card reader, and type C for charging. On the other side, another 3.0 USB port, with also another Type-C port. This Chromebook, if there's anything I'm gonna say about this Chromebook that it feels light and it definitely looks and feel very premium. This is a very sturdy Chromebook and let's see how far this opens up. And it completely lays flat. This is awesome. I definitely wanna put this to the test. And this one is brand spanking new. So we gotta plug it in. So what I'm gonna do is put in all my information, use this for a couple of days, and come back to you guys within this video and see if this 2019 ASUS Chromebook 423 is worth it. Well, it seems you can find multiple versions of this ASUS C423 in 1080p and 720p. Check your link in the description and make sure you read the description before you buy. It's been six years on YouTube and we're now getting started. If you wanna see more true wireless earbuds and Chromebook videos, hit the subscribe button. So here we have it, the ASUS Chromebook 423. Let's talk about the specs on this Chromebook. This one is the 14 inch version. This is the entry version because there's three different versions of this particular C423. You got the 14 inch, the 15.6, and another 15.6 inch. So what you're getting with this 14 inch, you're getting it at around the $200 price tag because it's been lowered. You're getting 32 gigs of storage, four gigs of RAM, you still get that nano edge display, which is basically small bezels, dual core processor, which is a Celeron processor. With the 15 inch, you're still getting the dual core processor. You're still getting the nano edge technology, but it's at 15.6 inches. You're still getting four gigs of RAM and you're still getting 
32 gigs of storage. Now, if you go up a couple of dollars more, literally $20 more, you're still, you're getting 15.6 inches, but you're getting 64 gigs of storage. So not much changes, the processor don't change. We're just dealing with the amount of storage that you get. If you're looking for this Chromebook with the Google Play Store, this is when it's gonna kick in. Let's talk about this. Now, even though this is a Celeron, and Celerons do work good with Chromebooks, especially with four gigs of RAM, this Chromebook got two megabytes of cache, and that makes a difference. There's a lot of Chromebooks out there that don't have two megabytes of cache. Aluminum build feels light, but with everyday use, you start to get used to it. So even though my first impressions was it was very light, it doesn't make much of a difference in everyday use. Nice build until you get inside. When you get inside, it's still a nice build, nice aluminum, but you immediately see that the screen is not all of that. Now, they're advertising this as a nano edge display. They're basically saying it has small bezels, small side bezels, but you're still dealing with pretty big top and bottom bezels. And they're saying anti-glare screen which is basically, this is a matte screen, a cheap anti-glare screen that they're trying to hype up. But at the same time, a lot of people like this type of display. Now it gets pretty bright, but I would say if you keep it at that high brightness, now you're gonna affect your battery life. So the aluminum feels nice and good. The screen, you're taking a step back. And the screen is pretty good because I thought this screen was 1080p because I like to use things and try to figure out the specs before I look at the specs. This is actually a 720p screen. This is a 1366 by 768 display. So it's better than what I thought, but it's 720p at 14 inches. It's 720p at 15.6 inches. So in some ways you might be happier with the 14 inch screen. If you're gonna use this with a Google Play Store, that's when that extra storage is gonna be handy. The keyboard is a wonderful keyboard. So if you're using this as a regular Chromebook and you need a very good keyboard, this keyboard feels good. It has a nice kickback. It feels nice and smooth. It's soft. It feels good, especially for the price of this Chromebook. Where you take a step back on this Chromebook is the trackpad. The trackpad Feels good when you're tapping, feels good when you're sliding your fingers on it, but once you start pressing it, that's when the trackpad feels cheap. This is where this mouse come into play. This is why you're given a mouse. You're given a mouse because they know that the trackpad is not gonna hold up to heavy gaming. So they gave you a mouse to make up the difference, but this is a very cheap, forgettable mouse. This is, this don't cost anything this mouse you could probably get for under 10 bucks easy because you can get a pretty good gaming mouse for about 30 bucks so this is actually kind of forgettable but it's kind of nice that they threw it in if you're using this for the google play store i recommend you get a very good gaming mouse because you're going to need it because this trackpad is not going to hold up this chromebook does not flip around it lays flat but it doesn't flip around so this is not a tablet experience you get decent amount of ports you get a nice design it's very light intel processor as a regular chromebook this is fantastic if you're gonna do light gaming this is actually pretty good and for the price it's not bad but the trackpad is kind of what kills it for me with this chromebook another thing when it comes to the battery life the standby time is not there this chromebook will die once you close the lid the battery life is not going to be saved it's going to continuously go down using it on full brightness is going to kill your battery life also so this is advertised for 10 hours of battery life but you literally to achieve 10 hours you got to keep the screen so dim that you're not going to see what you're doing you're going to have to literally work in the dark to achieve anywhere near 10 hours of battery life more than five to seven hours of battery life on this chromebook don't expect the greatest performance because you're going to be frustrated because they gave you a cheap mouse and they gave you a cheap trackpad on this Chromebook. But for regular usage, if you're not using it for gaming, if you're not using it because you just want that 
Google Play Store on a Chromebook and you don't want to spend a lot for a Chromebook, don't expect the greatest experience because of that cheap trackpad and cheap mouse. Because if you want an entry level 14 inch Chromebook, this ain't bad. And the lack of this Chromebook being touchscreen, it's really making me wonder why would they cheapen out on a Chromebook that had potential to be so good and you're advertising it like it's something more superior than what it is. Whether you're getting this 14 inch or the 15.6 inch, it's a hard recommend if you want it for the Google Play Store. But it's an easy recommendation if you just want it for a very light Chromebook experience.